what's the deal? It's your boy, Mr. Will. And you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio, playing the best in local music. When I was a young kid, I used to dream about cars and the stuff that I never had. When I was a young kid, I was an ugly fat kid with the cans and the paper bags. When I was a young kid, I didn't even go to school and my teacher said I was bad. When I was a young kid, I grew up without a dad so I stuck with my pen and pad. When I was a kid, I was young and reckless Looking up to them rappers, wish I had a necklace Didn't wanna go to school and I hated the dentist Just beans and eggs is what I had for breakfast I had younger brothers and a single mother We were low on money, living in the gutter And I couldn't say a word cause I used to stutter We got kicked out of place, I to another I was just trying to fit in, so I party for the hell of it Mama said that I was smart and I was intelligent But I didn't care cause I thought that was irrelevant Life always had a question, but I was guessing Growing up, I wish I had a different lifestyle More money, good health, and a nice smile But I gotta live with it, that's just the way of life If I'm ever doing bad, I just pray to Christ I used to dream about cars and the stuff that I never had When I was a young kid I was an ugly fat kid with the cans and the paper bags When I was a young kid I didn't even go to school and my teacher said I was bad When I was a young kid I grew up without a dad so I stuck with my pen and pad I remember when they said I was young and full of uh-uh Looking back at the stuff that I should've done For example, do good and stay out the streets Play ball with my friends and my brand new cleats Set a good example for my bro and niece And tell her it will all get well, hopefully Just some advice, I don't mean to be a preacher But kids stay in school and listen to your teachers See, I was just like you and I was lovable But I was so confused and dysfunctional I needed no friends, wanted to be left alone So I ran from my house to my second home So I discovered music and my ability, my ability. Had to crack uh-huh. my shell and found my identity. my identity So I just live life and learn from mistakes And That's go right. that extra mile and doing when what it I takes I used to dream about cars and the stuff that I never had When I was a young kid I was an ugly fat kid with the cans and the paper bags When I was a young kid I didn't even go to school and my teacher said I was bad When I was a young kid I grew up without a dad so I stuck with my pen and Life is a lesson we all have to go through Rather we're adults or kids We gotta learn from it (laughs) Sometimes I wish I was a kid again But it is what it is, man If you have your head down, keep your head up I did it When I was a young kid I used to dream about cars and the stuff that I never had When I was a young kid I was an ugly fat kid with the cans and the paper bags When I was a young kid I didn't even go to school and my teacher said I was bad When I was a young kid I grew up without a dad so I stuck with my pen and pad Okay, and welcome back to Wilson Block 100 Radio. It's your boy, Mr. Will, and here's the deal, okay? <clears throat> Look, man, the media today is just out of control, okay? And the only reason I'm doing this particular topic is because I just feel like, I mean, it's no secret that they're censoring everybody and they're forcing a one-sided narrative onto people, okay? So I want to go ahead and take this opportunity to explain why we are not mad at Raiders head coach John Gruden, okay? The former Raiders head coach, okay? Who resigned out of respect, you know what I'm saying, uh, for the organization and for the mainstream at large, I guess. But we're going to go ahead and go into some of these points that I done wrote down about this situation and why we are not mad at John Gruden, okay? Okay, check this out. First of all, Why are private emails or even the notion of private emails being shared in the first place? Okay, why are private emails being used to destroy a public figure's image? Okay, why is this now? Now we have to leak everybody's emails just to be sure we're not being bullied by those who do or have done the same things. Okay, you know, for quality assurance purposes, right? Society knows it's bullying everybody into accepting satanic values. This notion 
is supported by the fact that homosexuality is promoted as if it is fully accepted by everybody in which it is not. Okay, growing up as a victim of society by way of foster care and lack of a father. Why would I trust a government that has silenced my ancestors for the sake of being able to control and misguide me today? Think about that. Okay, secret societies are using their influence over the media to program our psyche to accept ungodly values and principles, okay? I'm not sure what John Gruden said exactly, but I'm almost sure he spoke for me when he said it, okay? Let that be be a figure of speech to send a message that some of us find it tremendously insulting, okay, to impose homo rights on the populace, okay? Like I said in other episodes, homosexuality has no place in politics okay with how the media is being misused i beg to question how and why it's still deemed credible i think a football coach would be totally against such flamboyant behaviors so why y'all acting like y'all mad when we already mad over you pushing this bullshit on us and suggesting homosexuality to children i mean y'all still ain't answered that Okay, now, real quick, let me just go to a screenshot I got here of one of the quotes from the articles from one of these, you know, uh, 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 non credible mainstream publications. Okay, it says that Gruden's departure came after a New York Times, right, New York Times report that NFL officials, as part of a separate workplace misconduct investigation that did not directly involve him found that Gruden had casually and frequently unleashed misogynistic and homophobic language over several years to denigrate people around the game and to mock some of the leagues, what they're calling momentous changes. Okay, he denounced the emergence of women as referees. I'm in agreement with that. I don't think I think women should just stay out the way. Okay, because honestly, it's not even about your passion for the game. It's about you feeling included. You just want to feel like you have some part in this thing, this successful thing called the NFL. Okay, but not to not to mention that there are women out there who love the game of football and are passionate about that. I'm not speaking about them because there is there, it is like that. Okay, um, um, but I am against. You know, listen, I'm not against female referees, but I'm not for it either. Okay, I think it's an unnecessary thing. Okay, keep the man on the field. Okay, the drafting of a gay player and the tolerance of players. Pro. Okay, the drafting of a gay player that I'm in agreement with that. Y'all shouldn't be drafting gay players. And if you are drafting gay players, that doesn't need to be um, that doesn't need to be highlighted. OK, it's not about that. You don't want people to hate and, and be against it. Why are you promoting it so forward as if we're all supposed to accept that? OK, not the case. OK, and then the his tolerance of players protesting during the playing of the national anthem. OK, listen, man, we're not pledging allegiance to a country that's still trying to bully us today. OK, and this is going to this is going to get me back to my points. OK. Um, if our government condemns us all by creating a place for homosexuality, then why should their policies be respected and or adhered to if they're given citizens remedial advice, remedial advice? OK, that's exactly what I said. I'm doing this podcast topic because we're not going to let you silence a real motherfucker from speaking on real shit, period. People like me can give a fuck about your private company. The opposing argument must be met with the same resistance as they are dishing out. The side who is usually wrong is the side that won't even acknowledge the opposer's take on the situation. The media is being misused to promote an unfair narrative and therefore becomes an act of war against all citizens when you think about the information they are blocking to the mainstream and the masses, okay? As if people can't form their own opinions about what is best for them. But hey, there are people alive today who really think I shouldn't have the privilege of knowing who my damn father is, even to this day. So with that said, society has been my enemy long before I knew it, okay? And that's scary, okay? So in conclusion... We not mad at John Gruden, okay? We're mad at this crooked-ass society we call America 
that keeps imposing, you know, demonic values on the entire population. Okay. And, you know, to, to make, you know, homosexuality acceptable by law condemns us all. Okay. Whether you believe in the Bible and Christianity or not. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. We believe in it and we know it's true because prophecies have been fulfilled, man. You know what I mean? And people want to, you know, create excuses as for why they don't want to find the Bible credible. When the fact of the matter is that you just don't want to fall back. You don't want to surrender. Okay, and that's the bottom line here. It's your boy, Mr. Will. That's the deal, man. Go watch Truth Unedited. We ain't moved. You can't fool us. Until next time, I'm out. One time for your mind. Just one time for your mind. For your mind. Why you think I rhyme, nigga? Just to waste some time, nigga. One time for your mind, nigga. One time for your mind. Just one time for your mind. For your mind. Why you think I rhyme, nigga? Just to chase a dime, nigga. One time for your mind, Yo, nigga. it's been a minute since they ripped it with respect. Been walking in the rain till I got sick of getting wet. And since I'm feeling good, ain't no need to reminisce. Nigga, this a 211 in progress. And I'm just doing what I gotta do to survive. Try not to get used to the rock. Don't like guns, so I don't like getting people losing their lives. Wasn't much of a student, I gave this music to try. Now I shoot for the sky. Past the stars, I'm a star child. I know I ain't gonna all loud in a long while. Little mama say she living to die No kids left the dick and got a bitch on the side She turned down You know I ain't afraid to say this I lost a girl I thought I loved to another gay bitch So nigga tell me what you want me to do Don't get involved if you don't want the problems following you It's real One time for your mom Just one time for your mom Why you think I rhyme nigga just to waste some time nigga One time for your mind, nigga One time for your mom Just one time for your mind, for your mind. For Why you think I rhyme, nigga, just to chase a dime, nigga? One time for Young your brother mind, made nigga. one mistake. Now society denying him a chance to be alive to see another night of irony. Nigga, who's to say the way it's gotta be? I say what I mean, so what I mean to say is no apologies. The kiss of death, she put her tongue in it. And the ones with bad luck gon' fuck with it. Yeah. Who wrote the scrolls when coast to coast on boats and trench coats? Read up in other countries and flip those. And it's all fucked up. I'll be riding the bus and seeing bum niggas fighting for cuts. Yup. Nigga, who gon' fight for us? I won't ride for no white guy in that text. But what's up to my niggas in the projects? North Central Pasadena, yeah, we got next. Dina East presents the bang bang and black gaps. And we came back to tax that ass, nigga. One time for your motherfucking mom. Just one time for your mom, for your mom, nigga. Why you think I rhyme, nigga? Just to waste some time, nigga. One time for your mom, nigga. One time for your mom. Just one time for your mom, for your mom. Why you think I rhyme, nigga? Just to chase a dime, nigga. Young time for your mom, nigga. I was just a nigga trying to figure it out. Hit the blunt, take a sip, and I'm out. Take a minute to shout about differences and how these life decisions is turning motherfuckers out. Cause time is running out. And my bitch, nigga, if I shed a tear, if I did, it'll fill the prison to the fifth kid. Since since I've been here. And I'ma say it again, nigga. I've been since since I've been here. Just one time for your mom. Just one time for your mom, for your mom. Why you think I rhyme, nigga, just to waste some time, nigga? One time for your mind, nigga. One time for your mind. Just one time for your mind, for your mind. But why you think I rhyme, nigga, just to chase a dime, nigga? One time for your motherfucking mind. Boy, Mr. Will, and that's the deal. Don't get it fucked up, homie. This Pasadena, your boy, Bang Bang. Go download that West Camp Secret V3 official, okay? 
We ain't playing no games with y'all niggas. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, I'm out this bitch.